video done. Oh no, I don't know if I hate it or not. I'll use this for my under eyes and pray. Okay, here I am. Hair fluffed out earrings that I'm gonna wear. All right, hey guys, let's get into this little first impressions makeup. Port, 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 part. I'm actually filming this. So, like, the reason I'm really glowing up, let's say, is because I actually have a contact to go to at the end of this month, so on Saturday. Um, but I don't want to film the makeup then because I feel like I'm just gonna be in a rush and like filming makeup or filming anything just makes anything like ten times longer. But also because like. I want to try this out i want to use i picked up like a couple new bits as i've shown you guys already but like i really want to do like an orange makeup look and i want to practice and see how it looks before i actually go ahead and you know sew it sew it right that's gonna have to do <laughs> On Saturday, I actually want to do like a proper slick back. Like, I feel like just being very classic. The outfit's not going to be crazy or anything. We're going to see Burner Boy. Um, but yeah, I want to just like go go really nice on the face. And I've also not been wearing makeup a lot like recently. I've just been doing the bare minimum, literally. So I'm excited. I have also <laughs> been watching or... I'm going to try and follow some of Uche's routine or tips, should I say, because I feel like I want to see how it's going to look. I don't like too heavy on makeup, but I know she goes quite heavy. And like I said, I'm trying to go all out on the face. So actually, maybe we should. Like, I just want to see how it's going to look, okay? So you're coming along this journey with me. We're going to see how everything ends up looking but let's get into this i do have some music playing in the background so if you can hear just a little bit i do want to do like a proper get ready with me like just chat through some thoughts and stuff um soon don't know when that would be up for you guys but that's why i'm not really going to talk through each product that i'm going to use and stuff i'll just let you guys know how i feel give you kind of like the first impressions of the new products that I've just hauled for you. Um, I am filming this backwards, so I haven't actually given you the haul yet. But in the vlog, I've given, in the video, I've given you the haul. <laughs> for that, my eyebrows have got thicker. Much better. So I zoom in and just a little bit more. There we go. I tried to turn the um, aperture. Is it called down on this? camera just because it makes me look a little bit washed out but yeah i'm just gonna hand sanitize my hands a little bit before i touch my face trying to avoid any breakout but i do need to wash my makeup brushes today as well but what else did she do she did she sculpted her brows so i will do that also yeah, let's do something thicker like the LA girl. I feel like she does it very although I would have primed my face first too for before I did my brows, but see I'm so light-handed on my with makeup, I'm like baby. <laughs> I feel like they do not look even. Does she do the top of her brows as well? I'm going to use my fancy soft matte, I swear by this. No, but she did do her full lid. I'm just scared of creasing. I'm just a bit like, is you going to crease on me? I'm gonna take just a little lighter bit on my lid 
just so that. <laughs> I feel like I look like a drag queen. What the hell? <laughs> Looks alright on camera in person. I look like a ghost, so that's real fun. Um, but I don't actually like that concealer, so that could be why. <laughs> Okay, and now we do the primer. Don't excavate a dot like this. I'm gonna use this hydrating primer. Um, it's not really compatible with the makeup I'm about to use today, but I'd rather use this up than my Milk Hydro Grip, which I really like. So let's just say I was wearing this makeup out today. I would wear the Milk Hydro Grip particularly on the places that crease like around my eyes or that um, separate a lot around my nose, where I sweat, around my forehead, stuff like that. Let's just let that sit for a little bit. Up to, we're going to be getting into foundation. Matching foundation, blending foundation, all foundation I'm mixing NARS natural wear. Alright, foundation next. Apparently. Born this way. In the shade, brulee. I'm slightly a little bit tanned, but I'm not probably my full summer shade. I don't really know. But um this probably will be alright still. Okay, she used a foundation brush to apply. I'm gonna just copy her. This is a fun little trial, you know? I think I need some more grips on my hair. I'm also wearing like white shorts and I feel like that was just not a good idea. So that's fine. It's a little bit warmer than I might like, but... <gasps> Guys, I forgot. I wanted to use the color corrector. Okay, do you know what? I'm just going to do the foundation and then I'm going to colour correct on top, which probably is not the way you're meant to do it. Okay, that looks extremely streaky. <laughs> Let's just add some more. I should also use this bit to clean up her brows on top. God, this looks so streaky. <laughs> also, I just haven't worn foundation in like ages because... I just don't like a lot of stuff on my face. I'd just rather have like a very simple look. Or a very lightweight look, I guess, guess I should say. I am gonna do the brush thing that she's mentioned, that she blends the rest with a brush. I would say this foundation dries very quickly, so that might be also contributing to the effect. That is not blending best. That's alright. Alright. So got a new colour correct well haven't had a colour correct in ages the only time I've had one is when I had the LA girl one I've noticed like because I like to do a little bit lighter around my eyes and when it comes to concealer and stuff I just feel like I slightly become a little bit ashy there so we're gonna see I'm not gonna do too much okay stop there Oh gosh, yeah, I only needed a little bit of that. That blends like a lot. Like I said, usually I would have um, put this underneath the foundation. I'm gonna use the Glossier Concealer on top. That is such a good shade match. Me acting like I haven't been using this concealer for years. <laughs> but I just feel like there's some, I often end up going a little bit darker. Um, with my products shades, just the way it goes. Crumbles, the cookie crumbles. Um, so I just find like the shade match when I have tanned a little bit. You know, when we're in the summertime, so much more accurate. Okay, yeah, I definitely noticed the difference. It looks so much, so much more smooth. Can you see that? Usually I have like slight graying going on 
Oh, I love this. The first time I used like a color corrector, like I said with the LA Girl, this was back in the day when <laughs> I was still learning a lot about makeup, but there was just so many, it was just came across too orange and maybe because it's just so lightweight. This e.l.f. one, it's just really blending nicely because this um, concealer is not that thick at all. Like it's a very lightweight concealer I would say. Still a little bit more on this side. See my makeup already feels so heavy though. I'm like, Bleh. I can just feel it on my face. Okay, I'm gonna go with the brush again and just blend that in just a little bit more. I'm not gonna lie, my face looks very smooth though. Oh yeah, that's so much better when you go back in with a brush afterwards. Okay. Okay, okay. Cool, cool, cool. What's next, Uche? Typically, I would take my bronzer down because that's what I used to obviously put in highlight. If I, are you still with me? Are you still rocking with me? If you Hell yeah. Me, like, yeah, that's one thing I really wanted to get. But I can make it work for now. I really wanted a neutral tone concealer because I have this one from Born This Way. I mean, Too Faced even. But it's very yellow toned. And sometimes too you just much, don't want that. Much, really. Okay, so do I follow her contour thing? She goes down her nose. I don't ever contour my nose. I just think she's pretty the way she is, as she is. Um, and I do like to blend these two together just because I feel like this again is just a little bit too a little bit too light not even too light just not the right tone again I just like to neutrify it neutrify it that's even a word so I'm just gonna put it on the back of my hand as you can see that's quite yellow toned which looks fine actually but yeah I'm just gonna add a little bit of this foundation because do you know what? I could maybe use this fawn. Let's try this instead. She's going very broke today, apparently. I'm going to use this thing that I use for my eyebrows. I'm going to copy her placement as well. Scary! Okay, so she goes here and down and that, like that kind of. And then she goes on the edge, which I do that as well. Twins. Okay. Could probably add a little bit more. And then here. And then she went down her nose. Okay, that's all she went down her nose. She didn't do her chin or her forehead. Why am I so tempted to go here? I'm just gonna put a little bit here. And a little bit here too. I'm sorry. Have it. Okay, and then she went with her contour, which again, I need a better cream contour, but for now, we're using the LA Girl in the color Toast. Guys, I'm being so excessive. Like, what even is that? Okay, yeah, squeezed way too much out, but whatever. She went here and here. She went here and here. She went, what else is she there? Oh, I think, I think. Which I do like to put mine there too. Oh, she went by her, she went like here as well. Okay. Small and dense, I got that. Expert, expert face brush by Real Techniques. Now you're confusing me, hon. Okay, so first of all, she goes and does the contour while her concealer is chilling, which I really hope mine doesn't overset, but we'll see. I mean, technically, it's not 100% contour for me because I don't really go that cool with my contour. I like a warm, warm shadow. Though I guess you could call this cool toned actually, but yeah. Concentration. And then she gets a bigger brush. I'm gonna do this one. Because it's still fluffier, but a little bit 
not too oversized. I'll use this for my under eyes and pray that it's not frozen in place. <laughs> Let's go with this part first. Oh, look at that blend, honey. So if you can hear a lot of uh, background noise, it's because the windows are open. Because it's a sunny day, honey. Again, I feel like that's kind of become non-existent. I can see why she puts quite a lot. The only thing I would say, I feel like my face would crease so bad. Like I crease on my smile lines a lot. I like putting all this concealer down here. I guess we'll see. I'll wear it throughout the day and then come back and let you guys know. Even though it's not a fair test, is it? Because I didn't put like my correct primer on. Yeah, I would definitely say the kind of foundation makes everything blend so much better. Like I don't think I've ever realised that. I don't know why I'm doing it anymore. Okay. That's what we look like blended out. Oh, looks great on camera, I'll tell you that. I'm undecided in person right now. Okay, then she goes with her beauty blender. Just to make sure we are seamless. Can see brush like this. Oh, I already did that. I'm sorry. This is quite. Hopefully, this isn't too damp. Okay, honey. I mean, again, I think it just looks great on camera. Maybe this is really camera ready makeup. Oh, okay, she does go back in with this concealer. Okay, so she goes in with a little bit more concealer. I feel like you're a little bit light out. Hold on. Here. So what I'm going to do is the same. And where is my concealer here? <laughs> okay. I'll just do a little bit. Does she just blend that straight with a sponge? Yeah, she does. This spreads a lot, so... I'm gonna be careful. She does a lot. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Let's start small. <laughs> then the back with the sponge. Look, she blends hers down a lot. See, so, like, imagine how long this would take me if I filmed this when I was going out. Do you know what I mean? Blend it out straight away. This just adds like a touch of brightness. Hi, darling. Welcome back. Okay, Same we're on part four, four people. Okay, she's now doing her setting. Okay, um, I have a new setting powder that I want to try, like you guys saw, which is the Be Perfect one. So we're gonna open this together. Oh, but there's something about opening packaging that is so satisfying. You sing too much when you see your mama cry. Everything looks like you got the home side cry. Oh, my fingers are dirty. And anybody Okay, as you guys saw, it's in the shade Strawberry. And this box is very cute, but I would have probably shown you this one already. The brand Be Perfect. I really wanted a strawberry or a pink toned eye powder. Look how beautiful this box is, first of all. Like, ta da! All for a little powder. Do I do this color? It's pink. And obviously, I'm doing orange. Or do I just do yellow? I kind of feel like I should just do yellow. I just feel like the yellow and the orange together will just look better. Plus she's using one and we're following this, so. Okay, let's just add some of this with a little fluffy brush. To be fair, I have been enjoying doing this with um, a, a sponge. That's what the word I'm trying to find, sponge. Well, this powder is gorgeous, it's super brightening, but there is such a thing as using a bit too much of this. I know because I've done it, so I take it on my true sponge to tap off the excess on the back of my hand. I need to redo my brows, I don't like them right now. Okay, I'm quite a big bronzer brush. I'm gonna do the sleek. I'm gonna pat it like this. Okay, she goes. I'm gonna pinch it like this to do here. 
yeah this is very different usually i'd go like shimmer bronzer across my nose but again i think with makeup like it really depends on what look you're going for i think this is very like a simple everyday kind of look not everyday but a classic look let's call it that classic I'm very powdery right now. Um, she does translucent under her eyes, but maybe now. Am I going to do a little bit of this powder actually all over my face? This is like close to my skin tone. This is probably like the most brushes I've ever used in my life, but we're rocking with it. Just going to spit over everywhere. Pushing on the mouth. I don't know what I'm scared of. I'm not scared to fall out. It's all about things that's right. Okay, so now she does actually do the whole sponged under eye. Although she does. Okay, she kind of just, she just, she just figuring it out. <laughs> like, she's trying to figure out, like, what's missing, what's not. So, I'm going to just be intuitive with it, too. Girl, can I open this? I'm going to use a little bit of this pink powder. <laughs> I'm just dropping the full lid. I'm so excited guys, I'm so excited. I have not had new makeup in like friggin' forever. I am gonna dust it on my hand. Okay, look. Oh no. I think I've done it too long. It's making it too light, isn't it? Do I hate it or do I not hate it? I'm gonna do the other side, I don't actually care. I don't know if I hate it or not. Has it kinda gone ashy? Um, maybe we could have avoided that, like it. Got excited, wanted something different, and here we are. Consequences to our actions, anyway. God, this is hard to open and close, isn't it? Okay, there we go. I just didn't have it on properly. Yeah, and there we go. Okay, it is beautiful packaging, though, I will say that. Um, okay. And then she's kind of just, like, figuring stuff out. Where's my... <coughs> Bless me. <laughs> All that powder. Gonna go back in with this one. And I'm gonna use this bronzer a little bit. And just so you know how she's 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 kind of just figuring shout. Like what works, what's not. I'm gonna use a bit of jujin. Yeah, see like this? I don't know what it is about this bronzer, but I just love it on my skin. Is it the shimmer? I mean, you can't even tell that it does have shimmer though. Something about this face, this side. Oh yeah, I like it again. <laughs> I feel like the under eyes kind of like, um, what's the word? Settling a little bit, if that makes sense. Probably should go up and not down, maybe. Oh, she's definitely giving face. Powdered face at the moment, but <laughs> face nonetheless. Okay. And then I think she like spritz are after this. this right <laughs> she's like, are you seeing this face right now? Like, yeah. That's how I feel. Take your brush brush. Yeah. Really I like a powdery look. I like to look matte. That's why I put the powder on. Oh, okay. I see what she's because saying. Yeah, she does really like a matte face. Um, I prefer more of a chewy look, just because I feel like matte makes me look a bit not alive. <laughs> I mean, in terms of what I was looking for, here I am contouring my nose. Have I ever contoured my nose in my whole life? No, here I am doing it. Okay. Do you know what? I might just do like a little bit under my lip. 
chill. Let's accentuate that. See, I feel like with things like makeup, with cooking, any sorry, anything that is creative or you want to get inspired by, like you've got to put your own spin on it, guys. Like you can't just like follow the rules hard and fast because that's when you just start looking like copycats of each other. Like do something a little bit different, experiment, see what works for you, you know. Take things with a pinch of salt and then make it work for you. Okay. I do actually have the um, setting spray that she spoke about. I'm excited for this. Let's open this up. I was a little bit scared about this because I kept seeing it on TikTok yesterday after I bought this. And they were like, this is for uh, dry skin. This is better for dry skin because it's got like little oil particles in. I am an oily skin girl. Or combination but leading more to the oily. Leaning more to the oily. So I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm shaking it up. And we are gonna do a little spritzy spritz. Oh my god. Why is everything so hard to open? Okay, she wasn't closed properly. There we go. Oh there. There. Okay, it's a very fine mist. Oh, it smells what do, do you know what it smells like? Oh, what does it smell like? Not love hearts. It's a little bit like love hearts. It smells like a sweet, like a cherry sweet though. Um, yeah, I just want a little bit more. Okay, yeah. See, see, the dewiness just adds a little bit more life to me, in my opinion. And I want to look alive personally. Okay, yeah, she filled her brows in again. I am also gonna just go back in with my brows because I don't love the shape that they are at the moment. I feel like they've kind of flattened a little bit. I do need a new one of these refives. Oh, I love this thing. Yep, 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 yep. That's exactly what I needed, girl. I just needed a little fluff. This brow is just perfect. She is, is doing everything that she needs to do. The other one, she's lazy. But we love her in none of us. Um, I'm now gonna do me. Just I, I don't know what she does next. What should we do next? Oh, eyeshadow. Okay, but I am actually gonna um curl my lashes before because I don't like doing it once I have eyeshadow on. I saw this. Um, I was watching this girl do like her lash re her mascara routine. And she was like, you know, you gotta shove these edge lashes which I really struggle to get in my curler you gotta shove them in scoop them in I guess oh and she really lifts her eye like this so sorry if anyone hates <laughs> hates this but needs ah not me always pulling out my lashes oh I think she actually also lifts her lashes I don't remember what she did I'm not gonna lie oh I forgot I had a makeup on my on my brow on my lids sorry god Okay. I'm a minimalist girl. Um, I'm gonna just roughly follow what she's doing, but also not really because I have my own idea of what I wanna do. I really wanna do like a orange inner corner to match the blush. So I'm gonna go with the way I don't even remember what this eyeshadow is called because I have not mentioned or used them in so long. But these used to be the go of eyeshadow. If I remember, it will be on the screen, it'll be like down below. I don't even think they do they even sell? I don't even know if they do makeup anymore but anyway i love these shades because they're just so good and it's kind of sad that she doesn't do makeup but i don't hear anyone talk about them but and i'm just gonna kind of go all over the lid but not focus too much in the inner corner see like if i was doing my normal routine i would have done this probably like after brows and then did like or even after foundation, but before my concealer, just so I could kind of like cut it a little bit. But I don't mind like a little messier blowout of a shadow to her. Do I want more or is that fine? Let's do the other one and then we'll decide. I hope I showed you the brown I'm using. It's this one here. Focus, focus on the wrong thing. This one here. Luckily, 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 
Let me guys let me let me guys know. Let me know if you guys like the little music in the background or is it distracting? Do we not like it? I feel like it kinda of adds like the kind of FaceTime vibe of things, like a little girly a little girly chat chatter. <laughs> Add a little bit more. I'm actually just put this all over the lid as you can kind of see. Just no precision, no accuracy, just vibes. <laughs> I can hear what she's So I do the bottom. Okay, she did uh, the same shade on the bottom of her lash. I will do that because. Oh, I just love that. Oh. Um, just a little bit. There, that really looks nice. Just not pressing like heavily at all, you know? Very, very lightly. Okay, that's very cute. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I'm not gonna lie, guys, I forgot the blush was a cream blush and she didn't even show blush. I don't think she did blush, girl. Okay, so today we're gonna be focusing. Not these concealer lips. Um, okay, let me just finish the eyes and then we will scream, cry, laugh about it in a second. Um, I want to like orange in the inner corner to match the or complement the blush. So, kind of like flat ish but fluffy ish. Let me just show you guys. Looks like this like this okay and from the same palette I'm gonna go with this orange here and just do like the inner corner what I'm trying to do is pack that on the top um, top lid or the eyelid because there's no other lid and then just drag it underneath just a little bit We'll see how that looks. Let's just try to blend that out just a little bit. What time is it? 2.36. I'd probably be doing this for like an hour. But honestly, this is what I needed, like a bit of makeup therapy. Okay, I don't know how obsessed I am with that. Let's just sit back a bit. Examine the full face. Do you know what? I don't hate it. I feel like a darker waterline would be quite nice actually. This is a day brush though. It might come out a little bit darker than I want it to. But it looks like this. And I am going to go with this purple shade. Which looks darker in person than it does on camera. BTW. And I'm mix it with a little bit of brown. And then I'm just going to run this like not fully under. Like halfway. And like slightly wing it out just a little bit nothing too crazy girl oh boy <laughs> just building that slowly till i get the kind of desired look that i'm till i get the desire until i get the look that i am desiring <laughs> see this is why i kind of like doing concealer afterwards because i would like just be able to clean that up a bit more but I guess I could clean it up a bit oh yeah I'm not putting any product on the brush it's just like an angled brush I previously used for concealer I'm just gonna like run it under this line yeah that's what that's the that looks better that looks cool so we're simple but we're a bit fun you know we, we know we're having fun <laughs> Um, I'm gonna do the blush next before we do the mascara. I also don't know what lip I'm gonna use, and I also don't know if this is gonna work as well as it would have if I had put it underneath the powders and stuff. So, this is gonna be interesting. So, we're using the Made by Mitchell in the shade Mango Daiquiri, it looks like this, and this is the first time I'm ever gonna use orange blush, and I'm so excited! 
feels very painty. <laughs> the way I don't want to mess this up, I'm like, do I dust it off? No, okay. I'm gonna do it quite, I'm always gonna do it like a highlight placement. So quite high on my cheekbones, I think. I think these spread quite well, but I think this shade is quite shit, so. I'll just do two and hope for the best. Right, I'm gonna use this brush just because it's like the only cleanish brush that I have left. Uh, try and blend this out. Can you guys even see? Okay, so we definitely can see it's a little bit patchy. Is it got shimmer in it? Or is it this, this brush? That's a bit dirty. Right, I'm gonna blend it in quicker this time and see how we do. In terms of the patchiness. I think that is so pretty, what the hell? Yeah, I think it definitely has some shimmer in, which I'm not mad at. It's kind of, I guess it's good I put it as like an almost highlight placement. Again, I want it a little bit more. Am I crazy? A little bit crazy. <laughs> Where have you been? Where have you been? Oh my god, it's almost like golden on my skin tone. I find like orange blush shows up so differently on everyone so it's quite fun to see how it's going to show up on you okay one thing i did plan on doing was using my well first of all before we even go there let's just appreciate what we have okay so this is what we're looking like i feel like i definitely need a, a spritz or like setting spray or something it's very fun i feel like i'm kind of gonna give me like carnival vibes but in a good way <laughs> okay for my dewy this place palette which is slightly smashed so i'm not gonna tip it there is like an orange a very like true orange blush blush shade in here which i will put over this almost like to set it or enhance just like the orange and give more of like a matteness to it yeah like look at this that's pretty crazy. Um, so I'll just do a little dab a dab and a dab a dab on that side and then brush it off and then a little blend that in. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is more like a definitely more like a tangerine. What was this called again? Mango daiquiri. I feel like this is like a tangerine shade of orange. Whereas, like, this inner corner highlight is more like a red tone. So I don't know if I love with the inner corner highlight. I might change that to a bit of gold. Just put some on our nose, why not? That's what I like to do anyway. Oh, I like it. You just put this brightness up a little bit, roll back to normal, so you guys can see a little bit more. I wish this didn't make me look so ashy but you guys will see natural lighting in a minute um i feel like i don't even need a highlight because this has a slight shimmer in it i swear i don't think it was the blush or was it i need to try on my hand and see which one it was but it's given me a shimmer anyway if you can even see that yeah you can okay let's do that little bit of gold which I don't have my gold with me, but I'll just kind of do this for now. Just taking the highlight colour from the Sleek Contour Kit in the shade, I think it's either medium or dark. Medium. It looks like this, if you were interested. Sorry, I don't know what's in focus and what's not. So let's do another spritz with this. And then I think we've just got lips and lashes. I'm not going to put actual lashes on. Okay. I 
it doesn't taste the best. Just, just so you know. What did I say? I'm gonna do mascara first. So, using these two, Maybelline and the Double Wear Estee Lauder Double Wear Lengthening Mascara. I did try this new lash routine. I didn't like it. So <laughs> we're going back to my original lash routine, which is first the lengthening. Oh no. I can feel it on my eyeball. And it's just flicked my face there as well. That's fun. So weird. I feel like these lashes look always come out better. But this brow is always better. So I guess they even themselves out. Um, I'm just going to do the bottom ones for now with this one. These lashes just love to bend downwards. This filming portion is very long, so hopefully I manage to cut it down. Otherwise, this video is going to be extremely long. Now we're going with the Maybelline, which I absolutely adore. I adore you, bye bye. You know when you just be saying words that you just don't usually say in your life? Um, yeah, that's me. Every time I film a video. <laughs> Call me when you need some, call me when you need some, call me when you need some love. Call me when you need some. Call me when you need some. Call me when you... Nah, it looks too clumpy with the... Chill, take a breath, take a breath, girl, you got this. You got this, girl. Oh, see this lash just looks gorgeous. You? Scary. Like, who, who is this eyeball belonging to? Because it's not me. Okay. Okay. I'll just let this dry before I, like, dust it off. Um, this won't be, be dusted off. There we go. Now the lips. Let me go get my lip products and we'll figure out what we want to do. Just going to rub off these lips. Because they look an ashy, girl. Does anyone know a good, like, lip exfoliant? Or, like, a kind of lip product that kind of chemically exfoliates lips if you do know let me know down below i kind of want to put this orange on my lips as well as well as use this revlon gloss bomb in this like shimmery pink shade because this is new as well and i feel like if we're doing first impressions why not go all out anyway i'm going to use a darker lip liner this is the kiko in the 321 i don't know if they still do the shade but it is like the best shade of lip liner i've ever used also, I haven't used any highlight yet, uh, so I probably will add that in the high points of my face because I do like the way that looks. Okay, I've got a random bunch of like lipsticks that I've just picked up here, and I don't know what I want to do. Okay, I think I'm going to do this MAC Kingster first of all. Alright, I'm going to open this again, dab a bit on the back of my hand, and then dab it onto my lips. I don't know what I'm doing guys, this is... <laughs> I feel like that's me in every video. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, I'm just trying to show you guys what I'm doing. Do you know what? That's oddly given like a very nude, like perfect nude. Like why is that exactly my skin tone? That's a little bit scary. But also very cute. Okay, I like that. What the fuck? I like that. Okay. Um, I'm gonna do this is what I've been enjoying doing. It's like a dark gloss as the outer part, like where your lip liner goes. I feel like this is what the girlies were doing without telling us, you know? And then you would do like I would do a nude. But I am gonna try this pink. I'm scared. <laughs> but I'm so excited. Okay. Funny enough, I feel like it hasn't even done anything. Like, I feel like I can't even see the specks, the pink specks in here. Which I'm not mad at, because it looks cute. But I'm also going to add this other Revolution lip gloss I have, which is a little bit lighter. This shade, which is... The pout bomb in the shade candy. I am gonna put that in the center of my lips. It's like a very light pink. Okay. 
The only thing with layering lip combinations, it looks great when you first do it. And then when you go out, it vanishes. And you don't redo it. The same, in my opinion. Okay. This makes you very... But I think you just need to like kind of keep going. I hate when people talk and their lip gloss like, you know, does that weird thing. So I will like just wipe. Actually, you can go like this. All right, that's cute. Okay, I'm gonna do my or sort back out my hair, and then come back and show you guys, especially in natural way. Okay, here I am. Hair fluffed out earrings that I'm gonna wear. I think. <laughs> PLT earrings. I don't know which part of like the video this little makeup section is gonna appear. So, do you ever have like? I just was looking at myself in the mirror a second ago. <laughs> Sorry, this is very random. But like, you know when you look at adults and you're like, when did you turn into an adult? Because like, I feel like a 20 year old and a 30, 40 year old. Actually, not even 30 year old. Like a 20 year old and like a 40 year old looks very different. Like, you look at your parents, you're like, you look like an adult, you know? Why did I have a moment I looked at myself and I was like, oh bitch, you're an adult. Like me at 26. <laughs> like, oh, you're an adult. Like, this is your adult face. That's weird. Like, I just had like a moment of like, ow. Like, oh. Oh. I think it's the hair. It's giving me like, oh, she's grown. Like, you're that grown woman you see on the street. <laughs> that is so funny. Uh, yeah. Like, it's so cute with the hair. I was gonna do like proper like slick. I'm still gonna do a slick hair bed, her slick hair bed, slick hairstyle because I don't think this hair is gonna last and it just needs a wash and I need it. And it's so hot recently, I just feel like it, need, it, needs, it needs like one more time styled gelled and it needs, we need to wash this hair. Like, look at the orange blush and the lips. I forgot to say that lip gloss was a plumping one, so like my lips like slightly tingling. But this lip shade that I accidentally created looks so good. I'm so happy with how this turned out. Uh, usually, I would like end it with the Charlotte Tilbury, which I'm slightly running low on, which is why I've been not using it so much, especially when I do like get ready with me's and stuff. But I love this stuff. This is, this plus this is the only reason my makeup stays on. I got a couple more things to do. So that's the makeup part of this video done. A little orange blush moment, which I'm happy with. Actually, let me even take you guys maybe outside a little bit and just like show you how it looks in natural, natural light. Like this is no studio lights or anything. I'm literally sitting right in front of a window. But I feel like it looks a little bit different when you're inside than when you're outside. So this is definitely giving we need to take some selfies today. <laughs> you just like that vibe. Anyway. Okay, natural lighting people. Like look at this. Right, I'm trying to give a little makeup update. This is, it's like just gone past six. I'm not sure what time I finished the makeup. I feel like I haven't worn it, been wearing it for that long to be fair. Um, but this is what it's looking like. Definitely more lived in, more dewy. Um, again, this is without my usual primer or setting spray. I'm being, I guess I'm hot, but I'm not like dripping sweat, you know, like I'm not like if I had to run for the train kind of sweat. Yeah, doesn't look too bad, too shabby even. I don't know if I would do the, um, I don't mind it, I just don't know if like the light bit by my nose is my vibe, but I don't know, let me guys know, let me guys know, let me know. <laughs> If you think this way I did my makeup suits me, 
compared to the usual way I do it. If you know what that is. <laughs> I like the contour bit. I mean, I think it's the blush actually. I like the blush a lot. Anyway, I need to clear up my room because it is a state and I'm shattered and tired and yeah. See you soon. To be fair, we were definitely meant to wash my makeup brushes today. And today's Thursday, that means I will be washing it on Friday. I'm just trying to see if I have enough time to allow them to dry. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do it tomorrow. I'm... I'm over this now. I'm over this. I'm over this now. Do you know what it needs? It just needs a little blotting. It just needs a little shaping. Too long. I actually do want to try. Let's see this L little thing that my mum gave me and then it opens up to like a sponge in here and I'm like thinking will the sponge work as blotting I know it's not really meant for it I'm guessing but like what do we think do I look less shiny? Yeah, I do. I think I do. I feel less shiny. I mean, it's not for the... That was not really the purpose of this thing, I don't think. Mm, I don't know. I think I still look a bit shiny, actually, to be fair. <laughs> hey, guys. So, it is Friday today. And tomorrow is when we are fully finished with the glow up journey basically because <laughs> that's when the concert is i uh, just wanted to quickly let you know what i'm using to prep my body you know i really want to feel like a smooth baby <laughs> i just want to be smooth i want to be like i don't know i just want to feel like what is the word i'm looking for nourish smooth <laughs> I'm just like in the mood to feel like I'm really taking care of myself. Do you know what I mean? Like taking care of my body, taking care of, yeah, you know. I did have a little acne mark here, you can see. And I put one of them stickers on it and it was pretty deep. So, a bit crusty today. Sorry, it's here, bye. But I like lathered it with like, um... Oh, uh, what did I put on it again? Just like creams and moisturisers and stuff just to kind of help with the healing process. I don't know. I never know what to do really when I like have a a spot that it then kind of becomes a bit like open. Like how do you care for, it? for that? I don't really know. But anyway, we are going in the bath. I'm gonna shave and stuff. I would kind of wanted to do it tomorrow, but actually, it's like when I have too much to do in one day, like for example, and I know that I have to leave early in the day as well because apparently it starts at like three or maybe doors open at three, and me and my sister are planning on getting something to eat before we go. The full me going there everything will be in the vlog which will come up later on my channel later in not this month but oh yeah later this month i think this will probably go out beginning of july but so if you want to see what we get up to fully then check stay subscribed and all that kind of stuff but yeah if i have too much to do <laughs> and then i kind of just like it's too much so i feel like just shave today do the exfoliation stuff and then I just know I have like a couple of things like my hair to do like even my hair is kind of stressing me out because I know I really want to do like a slick a slick back bun or something and yeah and I did wash I had to wash the front of my hair yesterday because it was just so dirty like I don't think my hair's ever been that congested before I don't know what products I've been using but they clearly weren't I felt like they were just kind of maybe sitting on my hair and not being absorbed so yeah we're definitely gonna have to do a hair wash soon probably after today i knew i wanted to do put gel in my hair for this hairstyle so i was just like let me just wait while my hair's dirty like there's no point me washing it twice it already takes long enough anyway in the shower today i am gonna use this in particular 
this is actually my mum got this and i do use it now and again and i really like it it's the bioma smoothing body polish with pha in it and i do find my skin feels very smooth afterwards and i love bioma because they're pretty inexpensive but their products are good like you know not just spending you're like you're spending less but you're also getting what you need out of the product so this is like an exfoliant and i also like that the granules on this or the whatever it is they're just not they're not too harsh for example i have this kp one this is the bump eraser this is pretty grainy it's got aha in it and i've sometimes used this under my armpits or like you know in my bikini area and stuff but i just find like it is pretty harsh sometimes like the grains are just a bit not that it leaves me feeling like sore or anything afterwards but i just don't love the consistency of it i think i love like a bit of a smoother or a softer grain and then this is a new um shaving gel yeah shaving gel that i picked up this is also quite inexp inexpensive the satin care line the sheer butter smells pretty nice lathers so well or foams really well i should say yeah, I should definitely get a better razor than this, but I just use cheap razors, I'm not gonna lie. For the update on the whole armpit detox thing, didn't notice a difference. I feel like no change in odour that comes from the sweat, no change in anything. So, whereas I notice a difference when I exfoliate under my armpits, so definitely gonna stick to the exfoliating maybe continue to do the, to do the detox now and again just because like I do use I do still currently use um deodorants with aluminium in I just haven't found a good aluminium free one right now that I'm interested in picking up although the um I think I might add in this video which I feel like it's going to be quite long I might have to put this in two parts i'm not gonna lie but um i had a little wish a wish list of like things i'm thinking about like things that have been catching my attention things that have been catching my attention in terms of like the beauty and body care world and stuff like that i think that would be quite a nice thing to add on for anyone who is looking for new items in terms of like summertime or you know summer related stuff but yeah as you see i'm very much in my beauty guru era <laughs> But yeah oh we also need to wash my makeup brushes today as well very proud oh and do my nails oh my god again it's just a lot of things to do and i've got to edit a video and upload it today as well which is none of your business it's none of your concern like i'm putting that on you i'm so sorry but just a lot of things but yeah hopefully we get it all done fingers crossed hey.
All of my bitches got friends. Yeah. All of my bitches got friends. And they bad, they bad, so we're good. It's enough for the clip. Yeah. My days, guys, I was in LA. No, you don't get it. Because it's so much puff, yeah. So it just condenses it a bit while you're doing it. Right. Oh my goodness. Drinking, you drinking, get pretty. You feel like it's the only option. Say, I understand. Did you make a mess? So guys, but as usual, I'm in a rush, so I'm closing out this video. This is the makeup for today. I didn't put my lip gloss on yet. I'll wait till I get on the train. Very sorry, my messy room. Very simple outfit as well. Don't know, I just felt like going very casual vibes, but a little top from Primark. Jeans are naked. Jordans matched with the pink bag, and yeah little slick back hair as you know i'm very grateful my sister did this because i was struggling but yeah i will see you guys in my next video thank you so much for watching bye oh the body glow as well i'll show you outside the body glow